This train is going to JFK Airport, stopping at Leopards Boulevard for long-term parking, Federal Circle for hotel shuttles and rental cars, and all airline terminals. What's going on guys? Canada. Yeah, just play Canada. Alright, day one in Buffalo. Well, I guess day two. But um here sitting in the Honda Clarity. Kind of self-driving. So um, we're gonna test that out. You're gonna film me while I drive, right? Yeah, sure. Look how windy it is out here. All the leaves. Currently 35 degrees right now. I think it's 45 in New York City. Maybe a bit more than that. And it's just crazy windy out here. First stop. Wait, we're, we're charging. We're gonna charge it first, or we're gonna no, go. No, we're gonna just get gas. All right, and then we go go to the falls, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right, it's recording. Recording. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're doing... Miles, keep right onto I-190 North toward Niagara Falls. We're doing the whole keep in lane thing here in the Honda Clarity. It's not like a Tesla because it's not quite centered. It's kind of like wobbly all over the place. But these are some pretty wide lanes, so it's constantly trying to like figure out where it is in the lane. If you like zoom into the car up there, you can see how wide the lane is versus the car. And this car isn't all that wider than the car up front. But it's not terrible though. I wanna see you, you gotta do it more. You, you, I don't know, maybe the car learns more. The more you maybe. Do it. But let's see, it should make those turns over there. Yeah, that's a pretty good turn. That's gonna be a good test. And it'll tell you if it can't, it should tell you if it can't do it. Alright, cool. Did it do it? Nah, it didn't do anything. So no, they're, they're, are you turning it or it's turning? It's turning. I'm just, I just got my hand rested here. Okay. There were already two times where I had to like turn the car myself because I didn't like what it was doing. But I think because you're trying to... So usually when I drove it, it's... um. 
I take my hands off the wheel and it tells me to put it back if it doesn't like, you know, right. how it turns. So that's like the, I don't think it's it. That's like the adaptive cruise control with um, lane assistance. So the wheel's supposed to make all these turns. I think Use you're making right a two right lanes to keep right onto I-190 North toward yeah. Niagara Falls. Oh, you're on the two right lanes, okay. Oh, you should oh, keep shit. right. Yeah. <laughs> that... <laughs> oh, it's not an east side, but it's not a signal. Oh, fuck, I hit set. I usually, yeah, I only, I don't do the adaptive cruise control like when, if you got a merge, I wouldn't put it, but. Yeah, I messed up. I hit set, I was supposed to hit position. Oh. In 7.5 miles, take mm -hmm. exit 21 toward Niagara Scenic Parkway. So it got all these buttons and shit. That's going to change lane by itself? So? No, Probably. I don't do that. But if you change if you change lanes without putting a signal, it's going to yell at you. I do like it. When I got behind this car, it started to slow down. Yeah. I it, do like that. Now it's picking back up speed because we're, we're clear out front. Yeah. So... That, that's what it does. That's what the adaptive cruise control is. So um, it kind of, it follows the traffic, basically. Yeah, so I just got my hand on the wheel and took out these red lines on the ground here. Oh yeah, it only picks up the white dotted lines, I believe. It doesn't pick up those. Yeah, I don't know. You might want to take it off adapt. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to slow down. I'm going to slow down to 60. I wonder, can it, uh, can it, can, oh shit, some ice just fell off that car. Some what? <laughs> Something just fell off that car right there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but I wonder, can it, um, change the, uh, the distance between cars? Like, we're pretty far from that car. Oh yeah, there. it can. So, if you keep clicking, um, is it this? Yeah, you see that? So, it, it'll go faster and it'll, like, Oh, yeah, so that that shows how close you are. I don't even know how to zoom this to show that. Okay, hold up. All right, so it's only doing 60 because oh, I got to add 60. Let's get it up to 67. Yeah, so you could click this oh, this I button to change. Stacking the traffic here. I don't even know what the speed limit is. Probably not. What you mean 95? <laughs> it's probably not 85. <laughs> uh, don't put 85. <laughs> People be wilding out here. Right here. So I have it set for 70. It's only doing 67 now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get back into the left lane. The car is speeding up. I can feel it already. So I'm so used to like clicking down for the turn signal like all the way down. Yeah. And I forget you could have the soft clicks. So just oh, yeah. like three times. Alright, so the car is slowing down. I feel it like backing down to this guy just got in front of us. Mm -hmm. Try to get around this tractor trailer. Hopefully pretty quick. Get stopped before. Ooh, welcome to Niagara Falls. Alright, so there are times where the. the oh, yeah, lines, this one's not gonna do it. Yeah, Use the right lane to take exit. Yeah, keep your hand on the wheel. Yeah. You know, the lane, keep uh, I think you gotta go take on. Take the exit. Then keep Some right exit. to merge onto Niagara Scenic Parkway. Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't see Use the right lane to keep right. What the hell? Oh, Rainbow Bridge to Canada. Oh yeah, there's a casino around here. Yeah. It's not, it's kind of whack. It's not like Atlantic City Casino. Oh, but it's a really nice, like it looks really nice from the outside. Yo, I didn't even see that, that, um... <laughs> I didn't see that either. That's crazy. <laughs> In 3.2 miles, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto 8th Street toward downtown. 
Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I don't think it's gonna recognize those lines because they're too light. We are close to Canada. That's the, At the roundabout. Take the first exit onto 8th Street toward downtown. Then turn left onto Rainbow Boulevard. Oops. We're on the US side, but over there crosses Canada. That's the rotating restaurant. That one. Whoops. Oh, that's a casino. Niagara Falls Casino. Casino. Continue straight, then use the left lane to turn onto Rainbow Boulevard. In half a mile. Gotta show them I'm an American. Real American. Alright. Great job, you excited? I know. I'm excited to go to Canada. Well, we're in Canada already now. No, we're not. That was just paying the toll. This is. Is this border control? This is border control. Oh, I thought once you um, crossed the water. No. Oh, okay. All right, so where are we, Jav? Finally in Canada. Decent, yep. uh, decent border patrol agent. Is he Canadian? He, f he I Canadian. No, he was he too must. nice. Turn left. But he look. He's. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? They have some really good burgers in Canada. We had it when we were in the airport. I forgot what it's called. So this is what we see on the other side. When we're in the U.S. Oh, that's the falls right there. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, it's crazy. It's really, it's a lot better than the uh, American mile, side. Turn left. Yeah, the falls is over there. We have to somehow get there and park. Wow. I would like to thank Chase for sending me on this trip for free. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you had to use your points, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, they have the zip line in there. No, it's too close to that shit today. See, look, look how nice... Crazy. Yeah. Wow, I could barely look, but... I'm about to put this lean key thing on. No, we're gonna go there, <laughs> relax yourself. We just gotta find parking. Look how wet the ground is, huh? Yeah, shit. it's from all the mist. Oh, so when we were all the way over there, the, the screen, the windscreen was getting wet. The windshield was getting wet. Yeah, that's the mist. That's from the falls. Yeah. We weren't even that close. Yep. Yo, you mad close to these cars, bro. Or it looks like it from to me. I think because... I think for the... Oh, false parking, $20. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's so rough, man. That's real crazy. currently in a hotel don't know the name of it just pulled up into one oh it's the hilton oh it does say hilton there <laughs> yes yeah, just walking into random hotels <laughs> all right so um starbucks and they have, there's a casino let's go to the casino oh it's located on the ninth floor the, that bar you were talking about Where's the casino? The bar? Which bar? Oh, the steakhouse. Oh, okay. Alright. 
Nice fly. Driving to Toronto, I guess. Yeah, it was snowing. I'm looking at it now. Oh, oh probably. Oh, yeah, it was like snowing and uh, some pretty bad overcast. That sky is nice. And, uh, Robin likes to not put his hands on the steering wheel and gives me heart attacks. Can you see how many miles the galley gets? Uh, it's not. Uh, I don't know how to check the MPG. I never even opened that up. Stay in the left three lanes. I'm mad you came to Buffalo, but we explore in Toronto. I think I can't drive with anyone in this car anymore. I just have heart attacks in this car. All right, guys, this is downtown Toronto. In two miles, take exit 146 onto Lakeshore Boulevard. Job has been driving for almost two hours, I guess. And he's gonna drive back too? Huh? Nope. Yeah, you are. break bro Javin thinks he could just take the you exit gotta take the exit bro all right downtown Toronto Javin's gonna have to walk back to Buffalo. <laughs> How it'll take you longer than your vacation days. Javin will just be fuck it. Let me go on a bus, then walk the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah. So some things we've noticed about Canadians. Um, a lot of them look European, and they don't believe in. Um, put in signals and they also believe in cutting cars very close
So let's see the let's see if we go from this car all the way. Currently by the CN Tower. There it is. <laughs> I actually have a better picture of it. Where did Kathy go? I think she went inside. I was like, oh, where did you go? Oh, okay. Alright, so we're driving back to Buffalo, right, Josh? Yeah. Tell them how these drivers are in Canada. Crazy, man. Crazy. Yo. <laughs> no signals. They be cutting, like, cars left and fast, right. Fast, yeah. We're already going fast. Yeah, we're on, like, we're going up to 70-something. And the speed limit's 100 kilometers per hour, which is about 62 miles per hour, I believe. And these cars are like, these Canadians don't care about speed limits, signals, none of that. They cut in each other left and right. I'm surprised we haven't seen an accident yet, to be honest. Yeah, we got about an hour and a half left to be in Buffalo. I mean, we got about 60 miles left. Yeah. I think we could get there <clears throat> and under the time. An hour and a half. Yeah. We gotta deal with you know, the border. Yeah, but traffic. There's no traffic. There's no traffic reported. Everything looks clean. So. Yeah. I, you remember when we were going? They tagged on like an extra half hour to the time. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 50, 55 miles doing like 70 if you get there in an hour. So. Yeah, hopefully. Let's see. It's so weird because when I, at least when I drive like in America, like the like this 55 miles left it says it's an hour and a half but driving to work 80 miles is like an hour and 12 minutes yeah. so it doesn't make any sense to me unless there's traffic but there's no traffic so i'm not sure what it's calculating yeah possible time after water yeah maybe it's you know what what's crazy is like when i drive to work i love like when a car like cuts me off to just break. Goes to another lane to break. Like, you're not going anywhere, really. Driving back. Yep, there he goes. Look, and he got... <laughs> oh, he's racing this guy. Oh, shit. This guy's racing too. Are they racing each other? That's stupid. That's crazy. This guy got me. They don't race each other. Idiots. Look at this guy coming on the right side. Oh, shit. They're just flying. You think this is worse than New York City? Yeah, this is worse than New York City. Yeah, it has this to be. This is kind of like Houston. People that drive like people in Houston. Yeah, that's crazy. There's a car on here. Just turn on his uh, high beams or whatever. The one on the oh, left? That's a Tesla. <laughs> Look at that. That one? Yeah, that's a Tesla. Oh, it is. Model, model 3. He got his high beams on? Or he yeah. turned it on? He just turned it on. That's crazy. For what? Like, so. there's mad cars. You know what I'm saying? It like, seemed like he just turned it on. I don't know. It's crazy. People are crazy. I can't wait to get off the road. <laughs> In 17 miles. We're going forward at, like, afterwards. Yeah. Well, first we will go to Snowy. Okay. Yeah, I'm recording. Huh? <laughs> I'm recording. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, what is it? Day three I'm here? Yeah. yeah, day three. Day one really wasn't a day. Just yeah, get off the airplane, but at midnight. Alright, so Kaishan has a work thing to go to. And uh, we're gonna go to uh, where are we going to again? Buffalo City. Buffalo City. I'm gonna explore that a little bit. You know, I feel like I'm like in Yonkers. You know, it don't feel like I'm that far from. I'm not done. From. Uh, 
from like New York City. Really? Yeah, it don't feel that far. But so you wouldn't say Buffalo is isolated? I mean, maybe when you leave Buffalo, you might be in the middle of nowhere. But. Yeah, I f you just have to drive to places here, really. Like yeah. You can't walk out. I mean, you could walk outside and maybe take 30 minutes to go to the Asian market or something. But right. I mean, everybody in Buffalo has a car, so. Yeah. Kind of like Houston. Everyone in Houston got a car. In Houston, got a car. If you don't have a car, man, you're just done. They're playing. They're playing with a, a golden retriever in this house. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys. I don't think so. That Kathy has a golden retriever. All right, now we're driving to Canada. No, we're not going to Canada again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had enough of Canada. <laughs> We, did we talk about it yesterday? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> you can repeat it though, how they wild out there. And speed limit, like 63, we're doing 75, and we're the slowest people on the highway. <laughs> Crazy. But uh, we're going to Niagara Falls again, on the American side this time. So we're gonna check this out. Back in the Honda Clarity. Two miles. Keep right onto I-190 North toward Got Niagara the, uh, Falls. Adaptive cruise control on. Might as well put this lane thing. Yeah, put the lane. That lane thing. It's, it's almost, it's almost like autopilot in a Tesla. Oh shit, you saw that? <laughs> what? The wheel turn. Yeah, at times, like, it's not perfect. It itself. Yeah, sometimes it will fix itself, but it, it'll catch you off guard because you didn't see anything that was too crazy. Yeah, it tries to be perfect in the lane. Yeah. But remember last night we were we were all watching the uh, the Tesla crash thing. Yeah. And it, and like, why would you keep putting the the autopilot on in right. that specific section of road and you know it pulls to the left? Yeah. Did you tell them about? So this guy, he crashed his car in California earlier in the year, I think February or, no, maybe not February. It was earlier in the year, it was before I saw the, before I filmed the, the Model X crash in Brooklyn. But um, pretty much this guy would drive on the highway and he would go on this highway every day to go to work. And um, at least seven to 10 times, the car would pull to the left a bit while on autopilot drift into a median. You go to the other lane, right? Or some shit like that. Yeah, to the left, the to the, divider. to the, yeah. And, um, I mean, Use if that's... the right two lanes to it, keep right it, onto I-190 North toward if, Niagara Falls. If that happens seven times, seven to ten times, like, it wouldn't, for me, it wouldn't get to seven times. Like, I, the first time would be like, oh, no, that was a little weird. Second keep time right. would be like, all right, you know what, this, this ain't working out. But, uh, yeah, the guy died and the car combusted pretty much. Like the whole front of that car was gone. That was crazy. Yeah. All right, so we're charging. We're all good. Let's see your phone. What did it say now? On the app? Yeah. So, zero miles, zero, zero, just started charging. And if you go to the, it shows the car charging. All right, cool. And uh, it shows the car there. All right, cool. And uh, electric parking only for people who like to park. Like, yeah, don't ice people out. Yeah, for real. So, pretty much, oh, you can't see. <laughs> it's mad dark now. What? No, it's too dark for the, for the camera. Let me let me get my flashlight here on my phone. All right, so um, pretty much you just plug it in, that green light comes on, and it starts charging. Now, the guy over here, uh, I can't see, but this guy over here. Yeah, you can't Same see. Car. <laughs> Same as that car. He's been charging for a bit and it's done. So yeah. probably yeah. they went to Niagara Falls or something. Yep. Alright, Niagara Falls on the American side.
Ah, look at that. You know what? I realized my exposure was low. That's why the video's been so dark. But anyway, yeah, really nice. Look at that. I don't know if they're gonna change the colors or what. Yeah. It's crazy. That looks like smoke, right? Yeah. Just rising. Got candles. All right, back to the car. All right, what do we got? 27. 27 miles for an hour and 35 minutes. Yeah. All right, cool. some bowling on but uh we got these uh rails raised up so gotta get them down okay, are you ready oh we just started uh putting our names on there yeah put it uh gay for guy sean gay? <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Guys, I'm walking to my gate now. Got through security. Bit of a overcast day today. So taking Delta back home to New York City. Should be about an hour. It's probably gonna be less than an hour in the air. Like it was like 54, 56 minutes coming up here, and it's slower coming up because of the, the headwind. But uh, hopefully a, flick, a quick flight back and back to New York City.
It's our pleasure to welcome you to LaGuardia, New York, or the local time is 1241.